get her done. All right, guys. It's a nice, warm, but windy April day. I mean, I, I do love this time of year. I love spring. Just wish it weren't so dang windy. But anyways, uh, also a new haircut, which I always love that new haircut feeling. It's like any time I can cut off a few extra inches of hair after my hair starts getting too long. Because my hair grows so fast. But okay, let's get to the video at hand. Um, if you guys remember this bridge behind me, well, you'll remember from the video I did where I did a toy hunt at both the Dollar General and the local grocery store called Leakers. Right here in my area. I don't go to here to these places very often because they're not as close to me as Family Dollar is. And plus, I'm supposed to go to Walmart if I want to find, you know, more toys. And of course, pulling cards, which, yeah, Dollar General hasn't been getting as late. But maybe since I saw stuff in my, my Walmart a week ago, maybe, who knows, maybe finally my Dollar General might have something. Uh, I don't have high hopes that they will. But I'm just going to go to Dollar General for the heck of it, just anyway. And then go, I'm thinking about going over to to the grocery store for the heck of it maybe buying those uh, generic wrestling figures I saw in the last time I did this video and I'll see if they have any Easter candy left over um, as it's a few days removed from Easter as I'm doing this video I'm still kind of kicking myself I didn't buy those hot tamale peeps because wow they're popular and, uh, it's not that I really want to try them but I almost want to do it for the taste test aspect but I'm sure by now they've cleared out all their Easter candy but yeah uh, just only do on a nice day like this give y'all more videos for the heck of it i feel like you know that's the best way i can stay active on this channel and uh, if you guys also may notice the, the resolution of my videos might be a little bit better i'm starting to use um you know 60 frames per second trying to do ultra hd um, i'm gonna switch hands real quick because the wind is really blowing on me but uh people drive by me see on my phone but hey it's modern age you know everybody's on the phone nowadays but <laughs> of course you should be on your phone when you're driving but you know that's besides the point but yeah, I'm going to get ready to go to Dollar General and Leakers. See if I find anything new. Hot Wheels, figures, pull on cards, just whatever. And then, hey, like I said, I'm tempted to pick up those Dollar Store knockoff wrestling figures over at my grocery store. But yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned. Hope you all enjoy this hunt. Yeah, hopefully you find something good. Uh, almost that time of year. Almost time to go out camping. Getting closer to summer. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Dollar General. I'm gonna hit them up first because I don't always find stuff I want. But I don't know. I may buy something if they find, if they have anything good. But uh, yeah, hit them up first, and then grocery store is just a few little s steps down. But yeah, so let's see if DG finally broke the streak of not having pulling cards anymore. But yeah, we'll we'll see. Nope. Once again, nothing new. Oh, they're trying to sell these now. License boosters. Hmm, three dollars a piece. So not dollar packs. I wonder if those are made those little three packs that come with two dollar packs and a promo, or it could be just some random card throw in. But yeah, that's my question about pulling cards. Once again, they're not getting anything, and I'm not gonna bother taking stuff off the shelf. So let's just look at Hot Wheels. Maybe see if there's anything new that I might care about. I try to go a little more in depth with Hot Wheels sometimes. Yeah, that's not bad. Kind of like they're kind of a little dry on Hot Wheels for once. Usually they have more time I come this way. That's kind of cool. Huh. Still have this Finn Balor here. And still have AJ, so yeah. Power Rangers, Marvel, and guys, in a moment, I do have some good news and I'll show you guys in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys another quick look at the toys before we head on to our next stop. But hey, it'll be definitely something good that, yeah, because apparently 
there are Pokemon cards here, and I will show you guys here in just a moment. But yeah, and also, I actually got to think of somebody I actually know that works here, so I actually do have a connection here. <laughs> And of course, here are the movies for anybody that likes to see movies. Dollar General has has a pretty good selection. Spider-Man into Spider-Verse, pretty good movie. Lego Batman movie, Muppets Take Manhattan. Definitely a good selection of stuff here. Great Iron Gang with The Rock. I have that movie at home, that's a good movie. But yeah, guys, just wait for something exciting here pretty shortly. Oh yeah, of course, if you guys didn't see my last video, I did a taste test of this, Mango Pepsi, and they have a zero sugar for flavor, which yeah, I'll pass on that. <laughs> guys, uh, so I want to thank one of my friends who actually works over here at Dollar General, someone I've known for a good long time. She used to work with me at Taco Bell several years back now she works at Dollar General her name's Sonya she was actually stocking the toys that's why I stopped recording for a moment because I didn't know who was in the aisle with me before I was oh okay somebody I know and she was asking oh hey well, how's it going you know told her I was doing good and told her I was looking for told me that well they had pulling cards but they were actually at the register because she didn't know where they were going to put them and well I'm about to show you guys what they are here in a moment found these fates collide another cool x and y set which I don't think even my Family Dollar has. Family Dollar, uh, as of late, had Breakpoint, but cool to find these at my Dollar General. And they were at the front counter, which I think is actually smart, so they don't get stolen or bought up by the scalpers. Well, of course the scalpers know they'll buy them, but me, I bought eight packs because I like to collect these, but yeah, definitely hope I can find those. But now, I'm at Leakers. I'm going to see what new goodies they might have today. Maybe any leftover Easter candy and... Like I said, I might buy those generic wrestling figures. Stay tuned. Well, still at the Hot Wheels shipper. Don't know if I'm going to dig through it because it looks like it's probably all the same stuff unless they had anything new. I don't think I've ever seen this the last time I was here or this, but plenty of the spring cars, though. I don't know, guys. I might dig through it. I might not. Probably won't. But you know, I'll just show you guys a quick little view of these Hot Wheels here at my leakers. It's really just about the same as what I saw here last time. Alright, over here was the Easter stuff, but now Easter's over, we're already getting summer stu stuff out, so... Also, the Easter baskets are gone, and all the other different Easter decorations, so... Not really much to expect here, we got some summer toys though, stuff you can play with at the pool, and at the park, and wherever else. So, pretty cool. And just, lots of other good stuff for summer. And over here was the Easter candy, but of course that's all probably long gone. So, I guess the Hot Tamale Peeps, they'll have to wait another year, because, yeah, I guess they were never meant to be, and honestly, my taste buds are okay with that. <laughs> However, these are still here. I may just have to grab these for the heck of it. This could be a future taste test review. Why not? It may not be St. Patrick's Day anymore, but, hey, as long as the cereal's still good, I'll pick it up. And, hey, it's like a charm, just turned your milk green, so we'll see about that. Wow, it is way too soon for Halloween. Easter just passed, so we haven't got to the 4th of July yet. Uh, so what's the help of putting wrappers on there? Like, oh yeah, little Yachty's Reese's Puff. What's makes them so special? Do they have the chronic in them or something? I'm sorry. I, I feel bad for making that joke, and oh wow, they still have these. You know, like I said, we're not too far removed from Easter, so these are still in stock, but yeah. We'll just stick with the regular Reese's Puffs, obviously. I don't need a wrapper on front. Well, guys, there's those generic wrestling figures, and I could have sworn there was at least one more wrestler here. Looks like really it's just the Mystico knockoff, the looks like Rey Mysterio, or I don't know, and then this guy. I don't know who the heck he is. I don't know if that's supposed to be face paint or if it's scuff paint, but uh, boy, one dollar wrestling figure. I mean, I think I'm gonna buy him for the heck of it. Just see how, see how long it is before they break. Cause I don't know. I'm just curious and. You know what, doll wrestling figures. As a wrestling fan, I feel like I can't pass on them. They'll be something fun to mess with. <laughs> also, it's like my leakers is doing some work here. They took the tile up, so I don't know if they're getting ready to redo this section or what they're going to do. Maybe redo the whole store, but yeah, really nothing much has changed since last time I was here. But yeah, I just thought I'd show that to you guys real quick. So like I said, I'm probably going to pick those guys up. 
Like I said, I thought there was a fourth guy, but he must have already been bought out or I don't know what. Oh, well, there he is. He would just hide behind this guy right here. So, I don't know. It's just, I was like, oh, okay, I mean, I will get all four of them. I was like, you know what? I got to. <laughs> get her done. And he says, you got to try it. Try my cheesy tuna dinner. <laughs> Yep, Larry Kibbegaw makes his own hamburger helper, apparently. <laughs> He's even got his own buttermilk biscuits. Uh, has anyone else seen these in your guys' stores? <laughs> Beer bread, and I swore there was a macaroni and cheese I tried one time. It was like a bacon mac. Oh, of course, fish batter. <laughs> Beer batter. Chicken batter. The Beer batter's for fish, by the way. <laughs> uh, good old Larry Cable guy. <laughs> yeah. It's like that's really about it. Oh, there's a corn muffin mix down here. Get her done. I had no clue Sonic made their own jello and pudding. Strawberry shake pudding, banana shake, chocolate shake, vanilla shake, man. Ocean water, of course watermelon, green apple, cherry limeade. I mean, they're probably pretty good. Even Starburst has got their own jello. Lemon, all pink. Strawberry flavored, cherry, blue raspberry. Some interesting finds here. This is and this is only the dollar section. Man. Oh, more Larry. Get her done. You need real spice in your life. Yeah, don't we all? <laughs> uh, it's that time of year, man. Barbecue season. I mean, hey. There you go. More Larry Cable Guy for you guys. <laughs> All right, guys. As I try my best to see my phone, the sun glares on it. I am now leaving Leakers. Picked up a few things. Uh, picked up that cereal. Picked up the figures. And I also picked up a couple of Hot Wheels. Actually, it's ones that go with the ones I bought the last time I was at Leakers. I was like, you know what? I'm, a, I'm somewhat of a completionist. I was like, if I'm going to collect a set, I'm going to... Sometimes I'll try to fish unless there's... Nothing about it I really like, but I was like, you know, the two cars are in this set, and you'll see them when I get home. I just have too much in my hands right now as I'm walking and holding the phone with the other. Uh, I'll wait till I get home to show you guys. And um, like I said, may a bonus review. Um, as for the cereal, well, I usually wait till the morning to try it, but I'll definitely have to give you guys a taste test for that Lucky Charms. But guys, I'll see you guys back at home, show you all what I got here. All right, guys, back at the house, gonna show you the pickups, of course. I said I was going to try to get these. I didn't get them before St. Patrick's Day, but I was like, you know, whatever. I like me some Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. And this one turns your milk green, so... Taste test video? A very late taste test? Heck, at this point, I was ready to go find those peeps that were the hot tamale fair, and they were not there, so... Unless I see them at Walmart, if Walmart still has any Easter stuff, um... Yeah, those will probably elude me for a year, unless I decide I'm buying on eBay, but... Yeah, but <laughs> definitely got to try these. It's, you know, I mean, obviously, it's Lucky Charms. They're not going to taste any different than they normally taste. Just, it's just the green milk gimmick. That's what I'm interested in. Um, now, of course, to everything else about. So first, uh, well, you know what? Let me get this out of the way. I know not, not everybody on this channel is in this. If you like my Pokemon content, check out my other channel, RECTCG. I'll put some up in the corner. Down in the description, a link to my channel. Um, I've mentioned a bunch of times you can look for it even on you know RHC TCG. But anyways, found these at my Dollar General for the first time in I don't know how long. Pokemon cards, and these aren't even the Dollar Bags. These are the standard booster packs. X and Y Fates Collide, which came out back in 2016, I believe. So towards the end of the X and Y generation. Um, so very cool. I've opened. A few packs of these, like from tins and collection boxes, so it's cool to find these. Um, hey, it's actually good that somewhere else besides my family dollar actually has Pokemon cards. I mean, Blood Dollar General for once is, has Pokemon. And um, I mentioned earlier in the, in the video when I got to the end of my Dollar General portion of the video, uh, somebody that actually works at the Dollar General that I go to. She's a friend of mine. She used to be a co-worker of mine several years back. Her name's Sonya. I want to thank her for actually saying they had these. She just didn't know where they were going to go because... You guys saw the bill, there was a tag for three dollar packs, but these are actually three fifty, which hey, that's fifty cents cheaper than what they normally go for at Family Dollar and I think at Walmart they're like even more than four dollars and other places have these for like five or six dollars a piece when it comes to like new sets and I was like, you know what? 
I had to get these. So, hey, if you're having a hard time finding Pokemon cards, just if you find a nice employee where you know them or not, ask if they have Pokemon cards. They might have them at the front counter. And I think that might be a good idea. It may be a bad idea at some places, like, say, what Target's doing with their new policy of only selling product on Fridays and, and it's only at a certain time. So, sometimes that could be good, sometimes it can be bad, especially if the scalpers still being bad. But hey, I'm glad I found these for scalpers. And hopefully. No scalpers get any word in my area that the Dollar General has these because I may not see these again, but I'm, I'm happy. So once again, I'll open these on my other channel, RHCTCG, if you like pulling content. But of course, if you like wrestling content, toy hunts, and you know, Hot Wheels, stuff like that, then hey, stick around here on this channel. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't. If you are, thank you. I appreciate you. So these, you guys saw, saw these in the, in the shipper at my grocery store. I was like, you know what? I said I'm somewhat of a completionist. These are from the spring set. I already had all the other cars. The Shelby, uh, the Dodge Hemi Challenger, the Pontiac Firebird. So I was like, you know what? Pick up this right here. Just why not? It, was like, it looked pretty nice. The 2016 BMW M2. I was like, you know what? Why not? I might as well just pick it up. I don't mind import, import cars. I mean, cars from Europe, cars from Japan. They're still pretty cool. And this right here, the Nissan Fair Lady Z. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to complete the set. Why not? In fact, I think it's the... Yeah, the Nissan's actually the one that's on the card back, if you guys notice. I'm, all the card backs are the same. So if, if you go back to my previous video with the with the Shelby and the Dodge and the Pontiac, they'll all have this... The Nissan. So I feel like I, I, I had to buy it, I guess. It's only a set of five, so... Why not? Now, the main event, as we talk wrestling... I was like, screw it. I'm picking these up. Throw the purchase, dollar wrestling figures. You don't see these very often anymore. Like, Dollar General don't even do these. Like, you, you guys saw Dollar General had, like, you know, top picks AJ and Finn Balor, which, uh, if I didn't already have them, I'd pick them up. And if they were cheaper than 15 bucks, but I'm like, eh. Maybe they'll have top picks series two at some point. I never saw those. But, anyways, picked all four of these wrestlers up. And I'm actually going to open these up on camera because these aren't really worth keeping men on card. And, um,. It's kind of also we can get a better look at each one of them. So first I'm up the only guy here who's not wearing a mask. And Zora looks like the most generic of the four wrestlers anyway. So let's open these guys up. So, comment section. Who do you think this looks like? Cause I don't know if he's supposed to be a Mexican wrestler. I don't know if he's supposed to be maybe well, he's got a ponytail, so okay. I don't know, maybe he's like Vampiro, when Vampiro still had long hair. Well, no, Vampiro used to wear face paint, but I don't know who he's supposed to be representing, but this is generic long-haired guy. Uh, could be anybody. Now, let's see. Articulation. Um, he does have elbow movement. Uh, that's, oh, this one's a little stiff. Had a little bit of that bone crunching sound. Now, the legs. Now, well, now they move. So, hey, everything works. Um, now, my question is, should I wash my hands after touching these? How much lead paint is in these? As you never know with these, I'll have to definitely wash my hands. I mean, we're already in an era. We gotta wash our hands anyway with COVID and stuff. So that's generic wrestler number one. Comes with a little miniature barricade and a crutch. Now let's open up some of these other guys. I'm gonna open up this guy first of the three mass wrestlers. And like I said, I want you guys to tell me who do you think these besides one that I think is clearly obvious. I think everybody knows who the last one I'll show you, but. This guy right here, I mean, it's really hard to say. Well, of course, look at this little, this is a little ladder. I mean, you expect him to climb up this little ladder? <laughs> it's like, it's like a hornswoggle ladder. And then he's got a barbell because, you know, got to stay in shape, right? <laughs> I know, I wouldn't know anything about that. But he can't really move his arms to do the proper bicep curls. So, you know, he can't twist his arms, I mean, so he just holds it like this. Uh, it stays in his hand pretty well. But, yeah, um, get a look at that mask. I mean... I don't know who they were going for. If maybe it was like Ray Phoenix, maybe. I was uh, sorry, if it's not focusing right. Or Pe it's not Pentagon. If anything, this guy would be Pentagon if he was wearing a mask. But yeah, which I don't know. I wonder if you could head swap these. Uh, <laughs> probably not. I think if you try to head swap these, they break. I mean, they're you know they're only a dollar. He's got his Cobra tattoo on his, ch on his chest, which is not even painted on right. But it's a dollar store knockoff wrestling figure. So once again, feel free to tell me who you think this looks like. I think it could be your Ray Phoenix. I was going to say it could look like Ray Mysterio, but don't have that Ray Mysterio design in his mask. 
It is really hard to tell who this could really be, but once it gets an all-star knockoff. All right, get into the next figure. This one's got a kind of an interesting accessory with it that the other one didn't have. This one to me definitely, definitely looks like Kalisto. If you look, take a look at that mask, it definitely has a Kalisto. Well, I mean, that's an ugly mask. He, his head looks all squished. Like he, it's like his head should be more round. I mean, let's take a look at these two. This guy, I mean, they all kind of got squished heads in a way, but. Like I said, definitely looks like Kalisto. I mean, also could look like Ultimate Dragon, who is, you know, a Japanese wrestler who also has, has wrestled in Mexico just because he's one of the few Japanese luchadors. But, yeah, just nothing much else to him. Silver boots, blue tights. Uh, so, like I said, to me, this looks the most like Kalisto. And then his accessories, well, they're barricades. So I got another collection of little barricades. And this right here, he's got a... a a spiked club. Yeah, you're just gonna go bash somebody with a spiked club. I mean, I know that they do some brutal stuff down in Mexico. I don't know if you guys heard about that one Mexican wrestler who threw, like, center blocks at another Mexican wrestler and almost killed him. And the other Mexican wrestler that got hit by the center blocks had, like, a like a bad blood clot from it. Well, I mean, shoot, I remember when, um, Perro Guayo Jr., he died in a match with Mysterio. Like, I mean, Mexican wrestling, I mean, there's that, that's some crazy stuff down there. But yeah, you just go smack somebody. Uh, <laughs> yeah, crazy accessory. And of course, uh, final figure. This one, I feel like it definitely looks the most like an actual wrestler compared to the other four. This right here definitely looks like Mystico. Looks like the exact same mask and everything. Of course, Mystico formerly, you know, was Sin Cara in WWE, and then he left, and he was replaced by Hunico, who took over the Sin Cara. You know, gimmick for eventually he got released. And even now, the guy who was originally Mystico is now going under another name, Caristico. And somebody else is playing the role of Mystico. Like I said, this is the one that looks the most like an actual wrestler. I mean, this one, like I said, close. Looks like Kalisto, but... Yeah, I mean, this the most looks like one, even though it just doesn't have any designs on his, on his tights. But, hey, it's a dollar store knockoff figure. And it came with the same accessories as the... As the, you know, Black Mask Wrestler ladder. So I got a couple of ladders. Can have a TLC match with them. And, hey, I got a pair of weights. So, you get, so hey, if you have two sets of weights. And it's like, this one actually grips a lot better than the other ones do. Yeah, he's got the best grip in hands almost. So you can kind of do a little bit of, you know, exercise with this guy. Now, let's do a little bit of a comparison time. I brought out a few of my different figures. Mostly Jacks and some Mattels. So first, you know... I just brought out one Mattel figure, a CM Punk. Here else up there goes up next to a CM Punk figure, so obviously all these figures are gonna be short anyway versus the figures I'm about to show you next. But yeah, that's the comparison. I, and you know, elites and bases are usually about the same scale. And then here's an R3 Tech Kevin Nash from Jack Pacific. So once again, and of course Kevin Nash is already pretty big anyway, but you know, Jack is always known for having all their figures be like the same height. But you know, it looks pretty accurate. I mean, you got like a Five foot something luchador, uh, and another, a guy right here is about almost seven feet tall. So there you go. And then brought out a, a Jax Rufus Aggression Kurt Angle. And finally, got a TNA Impact Wrestling Deluxe Aggression Hulk Hogan right next to this little guy. So kind of give you like a Nick present. What you gonna do, brother? When Hulk Hogan's the big boot to you, brother. <laughs> Yeah, brother. All right. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Toy hunt. Have a little fun at my grocery store. A uh, little bit of a review, pickups, all that. So once again, if you like that video, make sure to give it a like. New to my channel if you want to see more wrestling figure vids, toy hunts, all that good stuff. Subscribe. And hey, if you like pulling cards, check out my other channel, RHCTCG. Or once again, I will be opening up these on my other channel probably after I'm done doing this video. And it'll probably be put up next week or so. But hey, if you like both channels, subscribe to both. And if not, well, hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for giving me a view. Whatever you want to do, it's whatever. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Rock on. Keep collecting. And as always, stay safe.